On the Dell boot screen, you want to select F10 for system services up here. You will see it change to say entering system services on the top right corner. This is the entering system services splash screen. And here is the main menu for the unified server configurator. Um, the only option that we would like to use is the diagnostics. If you'd like to, you can go into settings and you can set all the BIOS and other settings. Um, and OS deployment is used for deploying servers using Pixie Boot or otherwise. Platform update is to update the firmware BIOS level, but the SUU 6.1 is going to be more updated than the version on this motherboard. The SU also updates this platform update, so the SU will always be the most current that we use. Go down and select the Diagnostics menu, and then select Run Diagnostics, and select Yes to do the hardware device initialization. You will see it boot onto the mini SD card. These are your menu options. They are exactly the same as the Dell Diag boot CD we want to choose Run Diagnostics. We normally, from here, just run what Dell requires us to run to troubleshoot the hardware that we're looking at. Um, minimum is usually just an express test that will just test everything on the system. You can run a custom test to test specific pieces of hardware by just checking them off in the menu. If you're having a memory problem or suspect a memory problem, you can go to MP Memory and run the standalone memory test. For our memory qualification, we usually actually run a custom test and just run it for a period of time or a number of loops to make sure that the memory is stable and will work with the system. So in this case, I'll just take the defaults and start the test, or actually I'll exit out. This concludes the mini training session for the Dell PowerEdge T610 and R710 onboard diagnostics. If you have any questions, you can message me at the P3 lab or on the website, and I'll reply as quick as possible. Thank you.